how to remove background noise in Audacity and this is a Audacity noise removal tutorial. If you're new to the True to Attacker channel, please go down below and hit the subscribe button and leave a like. I really do appreciate it. So in this video, it's a quick Audacity tutorial. More Audacity tutorials coming very, very soon. Make sure you watch right to the end as well because I show you some really important settings for this tutorial and let's jump into this. So let's jump straight into this tutorial. And as you can see, I'm in my Audacity and I've got my audio ready to go and re remove the background noise. So essentially all you need to do is record it, find a bit of the recording where you haven't spoken. So if you haven't actually recorded this yet, then I recommend trying to leave just a gap um, where it picks up the background noise. So we can then identify the background noise and then go and remove it. It just makes it easier than having like a small gap like here. Here we've got a plenty of time we can go and select to go and get an idea of what this background noise actually is. Now if I listen here, I can literally just hear some of my computer fans and a few other just random background noises. So this tutorial is just perfect for removing those types of things and it just makes your audio file a lot more crisp. So let's go and get into this. All I'm going to do is drag some of the audio. So I'll start from zero and go to five. So select the bit where you can detect the background noise and you aren't speaking. Then all I want to do is click effect and go down to noise reduction. Now don't click off, I'm actually showing you the specific settings and a few other things you need to do for this to fully work. So click noise reduction, and then you've got this, this pop up here. So the first thing you want to do is as you can see, step one, select a few seconds of just noise, so Audacity knows what to filter out. So then I've said that, then hit get noise profile, make sure these settings are pretty similar to here. I recommend having six and zero. Now noise reduction, basically, if you have it right on zero like there, that's basically going to start removing bits of sound which you may be speaking in, and if you have it all the way up here, um, it may it may not it may miss certain things. So I recommend having it in between like six and twelve. It's fairly good, so I'll go for twelve, and then sit get noise profile. So yeah, these are the ideal settings. It's you can sort of test um, between you know what the best is, but I recommend doing twelve. Then click get noise profile. And then once you click that, you then want to double click on all the audio again or control A and make sure you select all of it. Then click file and go and click on noise reduction and OK. And then it's going to go and complete it. Now, if it's longer, it's going to take longer for your computer to process it. But then if we listen to it, it's removed it a lot more. If it isn't as good as you'd like it to be, then I recommend doing control Z and then you can go and repeat the process again with a different setting. So I've just gone control Z and you can change the you could change the noise reduction um, by increasing it or lowering it up to you and see what sounds best. But yeah, if you found this video you helpful, subscribe down below, leave a like, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.